be dead. No, that was some other guy. Uh, I mean, it was my picture, but it was a typo in the paper. I am so tired of this. Man, this is boring. I am so sick of hearing you whine about your donuts. Sometimes I just wish I didn't care about chickens so much. We bet it on the chickens. Your, your brother told us to. He's what the one chickens? who told us to. What chickens? The, the, the fighting chickens. The Gamecocks. You think those are the chickens they use for fighting? Don't be ridiculous. Those are hens. They're not cocks. But wherever there's a hen, there's bound to be a cock. I mean, when you left, you told me never to call you again as long as I live. Yes, I said for you to never call me again as long as you live, but I didn't mean for you not to call me if you were dead. Dogs just think about what they can bite. They look at something and say, look at that, should I bite it or shouldn't I? And if I can bite it, I wonder if I can eat it. Do you have any more of the cream of okra? No, I don't have any more okra soup. I can't make any more okra soup because I can't get the okra. Well, this buddy of mine knew this guy named Mr. Travis, and he was trying to start this okra farm. And everything apparently was going fairly well for a couple weeks, and then it turns out that these plants are not okra plants. It was marijuana. This ankle bracelet over here is really a transmitter. It transmits a signal to this receiver. I have devised a method by which you could carry your receiver with you. All you need to do is stay within 100 feet of the suitcase. Thanks for stopping, buddy. I really appreciate it. I'm dropping you off in the middle of nowhere. Your suitcase and your wallet stay with me. But you don't know what's in that suitcase! You want me to stay within 100 feet of that dude? Cool! Look, they're welding. Now this is a welding rod, and this is a party sparkler. Any questions? Well, Ansel Haberdash. I sure hope you got my $10,000. <laughs> 7,000 bucks on one fight? I don't want to go back to collecting money here. Listen, gypsy moth traps are the perfect drop-off point. Hey, buddy, you want faster? I can do that. have an appointment with an adventure. Wow! Red Pontiac Catalina. Red Pontiac Catalina. Uh, this car is pretty fast. Got a lighter in the back. Luxury car! Do you want something or are you just poking me with that big stick? She must really like you to be poking at you with that stick. Yeah! You know, you quit flicking the salad peas at me and spitting watermelon seeds at me and hurting me with cigarette lighters. It's because you're such a wuss. I've been called crazy by more people than you are. What? Psycho, huh? Uh, yeah, my mom's in an institution. 
Okay, pull over for the next drifter we see. Yeah, I know she stole the car. That's a pretty big car for such a little lady. Blow off! And he gave her a gun. When the bullet hits the bone, it crawls up the bone like a spider. I thought you said your dad was an alcoholic. He is. He's an alcoholic and he likes to shoot guns. I do too. You probably think that I'm some kind of straight-laced, button-down, straight as an arrow, by the book, Traditionals conformist. No, you're not. <laughs> Joke, huh? Well, you know what the trouble with your humor is? It's not funny. To hell with this direction. Well, you don't look so good. Before I'm asleep. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, Peterson, you want to sell that old Buick? Can't take it with you. Who would take the olds to the conference? We're driving there in this? Yeah, and another thing, uh, my daughter, Lisa, is coming with us. She's been expelled from school and... Hey, Linda, I'm Mark. <laughs> <laughs> laughing because you called her Linda. Linda's a funny name and she knows it. I like to take back roads through the uh, homesteads of our agricultural proletariat. Nice car. You want to sell it? <laughs> if I had wanted to go to the tractor pull myself, I would have gone myself. Baby snakes, there's no snakes, Joe. Wow, my aunt never told me about this. She just said this car leaked fluids. I don't know. I pick up anyone any time. I just don't want to pick up anyone right now. I tell you, I stuck my head out in an acid rain and my face didn't melt. Let's just say I butter my toast in moderation. The very edge of the dining area. But it doesn't matter how good that research is. You gotta get it published. Yeah, I heard your research is really cutting edge. What's wrong with your daughter? All I said was cutting edge. Oh, yes. Anybody that says cutting edge is funny, and she knows it. It's a beautiful car. Yeah, but you couldn't have a picnic on the trunk of that car. Everything would just roll right off. You're not going to leave your dad back there. You really need to get out more. You've got a full mouth on this one. Oh, I know. And it tastes like danger. Well, fine then. Uh, you, you look like a stranger. They don't like strangers around here. I've been taking my medication. I've been taking extra medication. You can tell him I've taken all of it. That's what you can tell him. Okay, fine. You can pick up drifters for all I care. Yeah, all right. Hey, do you think you can uh, give me a ride somewhere? Yeah, no. Yeah, well, I know a lot of people think that cold fusion is a pipe dream. You know, the waitress at this restaurant, you call that a tip? See, Mr. Professor, this is a nice little restaurant. We can all get something to eat. You better check your wallet again. What's a belly gun? Um, it just means it's a little gun. It's just a gun you can hide in your belly. You know, we'd have a lot more room and comfort in here if we could move this television into the trunk. And the tire. My dad has a gun. My brother shoots. My dad says my brother didn't hit a monkey's ass. You sure this fire can't go in a trunk? Oh yeah, my dad has a gun too. It's an M16 assault rifle. It shoots bullets that climb up your bones like spiders. My dad shoots it all the time. We live by an airport. Hey! That's the damnedest daughter a man ever had. Don't you know how to drive defensively? What do you think the berm's for? Yeah, see how this car handles in an emergency maneuver? A lesser car would have been off the shoulder like a French nightgown. You have good insurance? Ah, uh, insurance is for bad drivers. 